So Inkbird's probably gonna be pissed with this one, but um, yeah, here we go. Because yeah, I'm just transparent on everything. Inkbird did contact me to review one of their cool little products. And yeah, it did look pretty awesome. And then they were like, oh, well, no, it's not gonna be compatible with Home Assistant and everything, but it's gonna be Bluetooth. So you should just tell us how to use it with Bluetooth like SwitchBot does, but that's a, I'll cover that in a bit. The problem I had really with the Inkbird stuff was this is for a simple product. They wanted it, a video done in two weeks before their release launch date. They wanted the, to review the video. Yeah, to make changes or as they claim, to make sure you have it correct. No, you really want to make sure that I didn't talk bad about your product and say, well, you didn't give the API to make it work with Home Assistant or, yeah, because I like to tell the good and the bad about all the products. Every single product is not like a home run. Every, everything's perfect. And that's another issue where when you have everybody release all their videos on the same damn day, then everybody just sees all the same videos and it's a competition of who is doing the best in not really telling the part of the product that's really like the good and the bad of everything. But I didn't want to get involved with that with Inkbird. And then they got all kind of pissy with me about you know, everything with like, no, well, we just don't want to do that. And we want to make sure it's correct. And no, I, I've been down this road before. You want to make edits to the video. So you, all your videos are pristine and I'm not going to get involved with that. And yeah, it, uh, I'm gonna call it a bigger company. I don't know for sure, but SwitchBot with all their different products and everything. Yeah, I haven't always liked everything that SwitchBot has put out. And I've said that on many different videos. And guess what? I've shared that with SwitchBot themselves. I talked to SwitchBot in emails and they send stuff for review and everything. And some stuff has been great. Some stuff has not been so great. But guess what? SwitchBot doesn't, make edits to my videos. They don't even want the video beforehand, like a pre-release because yeah, I tell them all the vendors and everything, I'm not sending you something before it releases because yeah, that's just really not the way to go. If you're gonna go that route, you're probably doing paid videos and then well, that makes the whole thing a big mess and it's not really unbiased to begin with. So with that long thing said, ink, Bird had a cool little freezer thermometer deal and SwitchBot came out with one that's even better and it's cheaper. You can come on to GitHub and this is by SwitchBot, managed by SwitchBot themselves or I think by like an employee or someone that does their GitHub and because they've pointed me to this several times before, this Open Wonder Labs, and look at this, they have all the data types and everything for all of their, well, I guess most of their products, even down to the BLE stuff on their lock, which allowed, I'm sure, the Home Assistant developers to easily bring in that lock with the encrypted BLE and everything into Home Assistant so you could use their lock. I mean, look at the curtains, the contact sensors, the whole nine yards, and yeah, I've even done videos before, they probably don't like it too much, but taking their stuff and putting open source firmware on it as well. But they haven't said anything bad about it. So I, I guess they just more turned a blind eye into it. So that's pretty cool that they do all this stuff on their GitHub for all the SwitchBot stuff and um, Inkbird doesn't. I just have to go reverse engineer, at least from what I can tell. And I've been searching all the Inkbird stuff has been users reverse engineering their Bluetooth packets to bring it into the various systems. So that's another plus there for SwitchBot. Now, the cool part is the price. Now, of course, prices can change. Inkbird has been running around $20 US. Now, these aren't sale prices for just one of their sensors. And Inkbird has been running around eight to nine dollars. And I think if you could even get them cheaper in the three pack and yeah, just watch out for some of the sales. If you want to find all the links for those down below, of course, you can find those down in the video description. Now, how do they really compare? They're pretty damn close. 
Um, I've had both of them in my freezer. Yep, right next to the, as I, we call them the lava pockets. And if you've ever had them in the oven, you'll know why they're called lava pockets. In the top of the freezer and the door next to each other, they pretty neck and neck uh, for the most part of seeing the freezer temperatures and even the current temperatures. I think I put both of them outside to let them thaw. If they're outside. I know it says freezer, but they're outside just on the back patio. Um, the batteries are probably still frozen. So that's doing some influence of the temperature because I know it's much warmer than 86 degrees outside. But well, let's just go look at the damn sensors. They're, they're, they're going to be pretty damn close in their temperature and everything. So the Inkbird one, it's this square kind of form factor. And this hole, I guess, is for just to hang it with something. And I'm assuming that is the sensor right there in that little hole. I can kind of see something in there. Haven't pulled this whole thing apart to see. I mean, it's really just a Bluetooth sensor. So why go to that anyway? I mean, it's all local. Now, they do, I think they came with a little screwdriver. I think I had in a previous little review of this thing on an unboxing or something. But the one thing I did like about these is, of course, it just works with the Bluetooth proxy or Bluetooth adapters and Home Assistant, and it pops right in. And then you had AAAs. And no, it doesn't come with these Amazon basic triple A's, but these are rechargeables and I've charged them up a few times, you know, so I'm not having to replace batteries and, you know, spend more cost on just power in these sensors. So I just take them out, charge them and swap them and rock and roll. Love some rechargeable full size batteries. Don't lick the coin sales in the freezer. They kind of suck. So this has worked out great. So no frills, nothing else really to this. I mean, it's just a damn sensor. But of course, there are funny games behind the scenes. I probably won't you know, be recommending these to people for doing the freezer stuff. And you're probably thinking, well, the Bluetooth is 2.4 gigahertz. Does that work well in the freezer? Well, think about it. A lot of the freezers now, even, even some of the older ones are not metal on the back. They're all plastic on the back. And so that allows the signal to leak out and get to your Bluetooth proxy. You'll be surprised. This works pretty well in the damn freezer. So let's get over to the real guy, the SwitchBot. They don't play the damn games. They don't do all the stuff. And they just, you know, no frills, just want some real reviews out there on the internet. I do appreciate that. So they came out with this cool little sensor. It's been out for a little bit. It is in Home Assistant Auto Discover now and with Bluetooth proxy. So you don't even have to pair it with their app. I think if you do pair it with their app, maybe you can get some other firmware updates, but it's not required. Take it out of the box, boom, pops into Home Assistant once you pull the little battery tab. And yeah, let's get to the batteries. No screwdriver required, just uh, don't bite your fingernails. And you can pop off the back cover or you can use a cool little spudger. So these do come with the AAA batteries. And once I do burn through these AAAs, I'll switch over and use some rechargeable AAAs. So nothing else really to it. I guess there's a button here for the set or pairing. I'm not sure. I don't remember messing with that. It's been a little bit. There's been no frills. Like I say, now the only thing they do have that comes with this is, and this is supposed to be, I guess before I put this back on, there is a little seal that's on the cover here. This is supposed to be also a waterproof. I don't, can't remember what IP rating it is. I'll, I'm sure I'll put that up on the screen, but it's designed for, you know, outdoor, indoor, you know, I don't think they say freezer, but uh, it works great in the freezer. I'll tell you that right now. They should probably go add that as one of their use cases. If they already don't have it listed. Now they do have this here. And of course, just like on the box, have the little you know, bracelet, you can go wear it around, or I'm sure it's not for that. And sure you can go hang it on something. If you want to hang it on a nail or something outside in the patio, go hang it out in the rain, whatever you want to do to measure all the cool temperature and humidities from this little guy here. So 
Definitely thank SwitchBot for sending this and uh, keeping it real. But I'm going to stay with this sensor because definitely I'm liking this one a little better anyways, especially on the cost. So yeah, when you're watching reviews or reading reviews on the internet, always ask yourself the question, is this real? If it's, you ever have a doubt, you probably just need to go ahead and throw it out because there's a lot of crap out there. I wish all the creators would be unbiased and just be clear of what was really going on behind the scenes and the vendors didn't get in these stupid damn games. Well, if you're looking for any of the links for all of this stuff and anything, you can find it all down in the description of the video below. And that's going to be it. I appreciate the Patreon members, YouTube members. Definitely couldn't do it without you. And y'all keep it real. Press all them buttons and y'all take care. This is not all. This oh. is the best part. The best part. The best part by Because the Bobby. look at that view, T. Yeah. I can see all the way back there. You gonna go climb those mountains? No. And whenever you're ready, you can jump that way as far as you can, okay? Just go for it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little thrill seeker, isn't it? Yes. Yes. And whenever you're ready, you can jump that way as far as you can, okay? Just go for it. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> you need to break, buddy. Oh, you're just too good.